finally there's something for me to do. I'm going to work on sanding the deck because it needs to be sanded so that we can put a brand new beautiful coat of non-skid on it. And it's just going to feel good to finally just get out there and do something that's actually helpful and meaningful for a change instead of sitting on my butt. So. Shut up and sit down. Yesterday was not sunny at all, and today is sunny again, so it is time to continue my sanding job while Herbie has the fun and nice and comfortable job of varnishing. But I built it, so I get to varnish it. But I'll be sanding and uh, out getting some vitamin D, which I need. My mask and my shoe and my sock, please. Well, Maddie's outside sanding the deck to get it ready for paint, I'm going to put the first layer of varnish on. So we've done four layers of oil, uh, linseed oil, and you just paint it on. So the surface is no longer wet because the oil's been drawn into the wood. So once that's happened and off, so now when you're done, the wood feels slightly oily on the outside. We don't sand it, we don't do anything, we just, the next coat. Is varnish then we're gonna varnish until we build up enough of a layer that we're satisfied with it because this is gonna be in the shower so it better be good and waterproof this is old-timey spar varnish so you don't want to shake the can because that'll uh, that'll put air bubbles into it and you're trying to not have air bubbles so I just run it as it is straight because it's it flows pretty well I just mix it with a popsicle stick. That's my favorite varnish for two reasons. One, it's about 10 bucks, uh, or really fancy varnishes are about 50 bucks for the same size jar. Second reason is it works well. So I've been using it for ooh, about seven years on this boat and it hasn't given me any problems, so I like it. Of all places to injure yourself, this is not a great place. Uh, particularly in our situation, where we do not have a car and we live on a boat that's on stilts. Stairs for days. As always, today is a work day, um, feel like a broken record with that one. And we're putting a lot of stuff away right now. Uh, so these are these super awesome cooked rice bowls that our friend Andy Yoon sent us. So thank you so much Andy for these. Uh, it's going to make eating during our crossing over to the med much easier and more pleasurable. <laughs> It's these kinds of little gifts that show us, that introduce us to new ideas, new things, give us a little variety, and um, yeah, it means a lot to us, so thanks. Yep, we're doing this. I'm wearing Herbie's gigantic shoe because the ground is wet.
carnival going on, all our uh, frequent places that we go eat are closed. But thankfully one place is open and this is pushing us to try new things. It's also pushing Maddie to walk really far. Okay, so our next project, so we've been sanding the deck and getting that all, you know, cleaned up and pretty and pretty and prepped for painting. But before we can do that, there's a couple things that we're going to change on the deck. So the boat originally had these like 1960s giant hatches. It didn't actually work with hinges. It worked with like these weird steel brackets that were on the deck. Uh, at some point, the previous owner changed from those to a regular Bomar hatch that sits on top of it. But he just he left the old stainless steel brackets there. While we were doing the crossing, sometimes it like hooked down halls and like just little things would get hooked in them. And what's worse is we'd stub our toes on them. So we're gonna grind them off, blow them away, and then we'll fair out the area and just get it all prepped for paint. There were eight of these uh, latches on the deck. Six of them came up. Two of them just didn't want to come up. So I'm gonna just destroy them with the grinder. Herbie has been to Constructora and he has returned with some exciting things. We picked out together while FaceTiming since I couldn't make it up the hill to Constructora. <laughs> So it's, it's a two kilometer hike uphill, one way. So yeah, FaceTime is awesome. We have our vessel sink faucet. For the sink in the head. For the sink in the head, yes. Our shower faucet thing, and it has a tub filling feature, which we're not gonna use for bathtub because we don't have one, but we will use it to fill the solar shower. Perfect. And and many random assortments of plumbing things. <laughs> uh, apparently, at least here and at least at that store, they've never heard of barb fittings for plumbing. Everything is PVC, stainless steel, like all pipe and it's all threaded. So when I was asking for barb fittings, that, that wasn't a thing. So thankfully, I didn't throw out our old one, our old setup, which is all barb fittings. Yay. So So I have adapters that we can attach our barb fittings to. And oddly, everything here is metric, except plumbing. That's in inches. Unless it's drains, then it's back to millimeters. That makes no sense. Yeah, it's, it's confusing. The best part is, all of this was 140 euros. Yay! And, and Affordability! I mean, 140 and 65 cents. So if you're thinking of going cruising and you have some refit work left to do, don't put off going cruising just because you haven't gotten all your work done. Go, go and have fun, enjoy yourself, and in other countries, it's probably gonna be cheaper than where you are, and you can do it there for less. Ooh. I see I'm mounting this right now. Uh, you go in the front, that way you have more legroom. I had to go to an eye doctor appointment because my right eye was hurting a lot. So we took a taxi. Every day when we walk by this place, there's this dude who's uh, usually practicing soccer on the beach. He's always got like a jersey. He looks older, like if he's not actually on a team at this current point. But I, I really don't know. But he's always just out here kicking the ball around and, and that's it. But today it's, it's a little interesting. So over here it says something about with or without you. Then old Costa Rica, San Jose. I think that says Donde Astori. I don't really know. Anyway, so that 
of a frequent thing every day. Today's just a little extra special. My foot is getting better. This is my first time out without my brace. And I'm wearing regular shoes again, which is nice. Yeah, for a while she was wearing my left shoe. <laughs> she looked kind of funky. Got a lot of stairs. It's kind of tired of it. <laughs> so I can almost not use my um, my uh, crutches anymore. Almost. But on the plus side, she's got some ripped arms. Made her so strong, she sanded the whole deck in like two days. <laughs> Okay, the day is finally here. Ideally, you should have the entire boat prepped, and then you clean the whole deck, and then you prime the whole deck, and then you paint the whole deck. But, we have a lot of work that we're doing, and the weather isn't really too conducive to doing a lot all at once. So, the four peak is completely ready. So I'm gonna prime that now. I'm still doing some fairing right directly over my head. And then after all that's done, then we're going to be working in the cockpit area. So we're, we're kind of breaking the boat up into four parts and then doing them as we go. The important part is that we're going to get everything primed. And then when we do the deck paint, we'll do that all in one hit. That way it, it looks uniform. But all the prep work side, we're doing that in pieces. So right now I'm going to start putting pre-coat on the four peak. And we're doing gray primer. That way we don't have the issue I had last time I painted the deck, which was... Whew, about six years ago, where I used white primer and then painted the deck white. And I missed a couple spots because I didn't realize I missed them. And then as the years went by, the primer actually collects a lot more dirt than the rest of the paint. So I had these like dark gray streaks, which you guys have probably seen in our videos in the cockpit. There's a couple in there. So, doing gray, that way I don't do that mistake again. Our sink has come in, which means we can get started on our galley project. It has begun. We're screw of many. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and message us directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.